I nearly get mugged in my elevator. I had a nice ear earring in the summer and uh, somebody just tried to rip it off. I think they take the advantage in older people and, and, and disability, disabled person. This theft reenactment video released by Toronto Police as they issue a public alert about distraction thefts targeting the vulnerable and elderly. Police say the suspects approach, asking for directions or striking up a conversation. Then the thieves offer the elderly victims what appears to be a generous gift of jewelry. Suspects will continue to confuse the victim and place these fake gold items around the victim's necks or on their hands or wrists while removing the victim's necklaces and jewelry. The thefts often happen in busy places like parking lots and shopping centers, and police are concerned that the amount of thefts may spike as the weather gets warmer, people spending more time outside and bundling up less, leaving their jewelry exposed. An elderly lady, her necklace was taken. She uh, started to get very emotional, saying that this necklace, a sign of uh, her husband being with her every day, and now it's gone. One or two female suspects often strike while a male suspect waits in the car. In several cases, the vehicles are rentals from Quebec. I hang out at Dundas Street. I just live up the street there. And I just, some, since then, I just take off all my ring or whatever, put it in my bag. Because you don't know. Police also advise you to protect your personal space and get loud if someone suspicious approaches. Your mothers, your grandmothers, these are potential victims that don't have to be. Forewarned is forearmed. Uh, if we can get the message out, we can certainly uh, do a lot towards uh, reducing this kind of theft. Investigators want any incidents to be reported to police, even if they're not successful. They're asking people to have a chat with the seniors in their lives so that they become more aware of their surroundings. At police headquarters, Tammy Sutherland, City News.